Hi, I'm Sara Savian, fashion tech designer and professor at Politecnico di Milano. Programming is a new way to design clothes that interact with the wearer, people around him and the environment. The aim of this lecture is to discover wearables fields of application and their technologies. To fully understand the possibilities of interactive garments, we will go through topics such as wearables, technologies, microcontrollers, sensors and actuators. Wearables are smart electronic devices that can be incorporated into clothing or worn on the body as accessories. To help you understand what a smart garment is, think about astronauts' clothing. Sensors constantly monitor their physical state and transfer information about their health. A smart accessory could be a smartwatch or a pedometer. Wearable field has a variety of applications which grows as the field itself expands. One of these applications concerns medical devices. Biosensors are becoming medical devices that are radically different from wrist trackers and smartwatches. They look more like self-adhesive patches that monitor the patient's body. Another example is body data monitoring. That is the way sensors are used to monitor the health status of a patient. It is also used for sports in many disciplines. However, Wearables are used not only to monitor sport performance, but also to design garments that are able to express performative arts or a message through interaction. Finally, under the name of care, we find all those devices that are co-designed to help people with a health problem improve their situation. When you think of a wearable, Imagine a garment that contains the electronic components useful to monitor the wearer or the environment around him. The wearable interacts with the wearer in order to share collected data. But who is elaborating them? The microcontroller or MCU is the most important part of our wearable. It contains the program that reads the sensors those electronic components that perceive people or the environment. It also collects all the data and processes them to give the actuators an order. For example, it could tell a LED to light up if a light sensor tells it's getting dark in a room. We can truthfully say that a microcontroller is like a small computer. It is the brain of our project. Data collected from different kinds of sensors are processed in order to control one or many actuators. So, if the MCU is the brain, let's think about sensors as ears or eyes, and that LEDs and motors as expression of the body. But let's have a look at different flat MCU. Arduino Lillipad's circular form factor, pin layout, and the possibility of being sewn have made it ideal for wearable projects. The Adafruit Gemma M0 is a super small microcontroller board and incredibly powerful. It is equipped with a USB port and a JST type battery connector. The Beetle is the smallest Arduino Uno based board with a Bluetooth 4.0 that adds connectivity to your project. After having seen the central component of our wearable, now let's analyze the other elements, sensors and actuators. They are between the person and the MCU. Let's focus on the first one. Sensors are used to sense environmental or body parameters. Those informations are then transferred to the MCU that, elaborating data, sends input to the actuator to move, enlighten or make a sound. Sensors are all the electronic components capable of sensing environmental or body parameters and transforming them into electrical signals that can be read by a microcontroller. We can find different types of sensors. First, an heart rate sensor uses different methods to send data collected to the MCU. Most of them directly return the specific amount of heartbeats detected. 
Others modify the voltage values proportionally to the number of bits acquired. Second, light sensors can detect the change in ambient brightness and transform it into electronic pulses. Third, temperature and humidity sensors are used to monitor the physical condition of humans, for example, during sports, training or great physical stress. Fourth, distance sensors are based on the radar principle. The distance is determined by measuring the flight time of the flow, knowing the speed of sound or light waves through the air. Fifth and last, the IMU sensors, Inertial Measurement Unit, measure position, orientation and direction of a body in space. After having seen the brain and the sense of our wearable, let's move to the body. We are talking about the actuators. They are those devices that can operate mechanical movement, visual effect, sound propagation or tactile sensation when one or more programmed conditions occur. Actuators can be electronic or mechanical components that execute what you want. Firstly, among the actuators, there are the speakers that are commonly used in the audio field to translate electronic signals in sounds. Earphones, for example, are the first wearable device that use these kind of actuators. Secondly, motors are the most versatile component among wearable actuators. You can use them to give movement to the whole dress or just one or more parts of it. Thirdly, LEDs are simple actuators that you can control with many signals to create different light effects or to communicate through colors. Finally, servo motors have a special electronic circuit that can do specific and precise movements, even if they have a very tiny dimension. So, to recap, we have seen the brain, the senses and the body of our wearable, but how the input is transformed into a command. The process is done by an invisible component called algorithm or code created by the interaction designer. It allows to elaborate the data collected by the sensors. Once processed, the data are sent from the brain to the actuator by using the algorithm as a path for decision making. Wearable designers must know how to write the code properly in order to elaborate data and execute actuators the way they designed it. To do so, they use the software IDE, Integrated Development Environment, to write the code for their projects. Arduino IDE allows you to write, compile and upload a program to a microcontroller. An example of a performance wearable is the robotic spider dress, designed by Anouk Wieprecht, fashion tech designer. It has sensors that monitors how people approach the wearer and moves its mechanical limbs up to a tuck position when it finds it aggressive. Another example is Rehab Globe, that is a bottom-up project designed in a fab lab that monitors the movement of the hand. Mauro Alfieri, software programmer and maker, designed it in order to help physiotherapy patients to recover faster. So, we are living in a connected world, from our smartphone to our IoT home system. But, are we ready to have smart garments in our life? <laughs>